I'm back for another demonstration of the new hot desking sign-in feature for Microsoft Teams displays. I'm at reception, I've checked in using the virtual front desk of course from Neat and Microsoft and now I want to find a hot desk space. There may be some rooms like this, if you see on the uh, side here, that have hot desks available. So I can walk up and find a free one. And I can see that I'm able to reserve it. So I simply walk up and I hit reserve. So when I tap reserve, it gives me the option who do I want to reserve it for. And today uh, I'm going to reserve this for Adele. And I say yes to that and how long I want to reserve it for. So I've got a start time, end time. Um, I can also do custom. So I can select which exact time I want to select it for. But usually it's for the half hour. Um, so from 10.32 now until 11 a.m. So I'll hit reserve. I could have done this, of course, from my Teams client or my Outlook client if I knew that looking for free busy, I can find another hot desk space from my phone, I'm on the train on the way into the office, for example, or I'm looking to book for tomorrow. However, I've now walked in the room, I've hit reserve, I want this space. I now have a QR code, but I've also got Microsoft.com forward slash device login, so I could open up my laptop and sign in that way. However, I have my phone with me, so let me just unlock my phone, and as you can see, I've got my Teams client here, I'm signed in as Adele, so I know I'm good to go. All I need to do now is open up my camera and open up my AI lens and point that at the QR code. As you can see, it's asking me what application. I want to use Teams for this. And now what it says in the bottom corner here, does this code match it? And I say confirm. And now it's bringing that code across. It's asking me what user account I want to use. Obviously Adele, it's already signed in. And that is it. I am now ready to pass that token over to my device. And that will now sign in on the hot desk, as you can see now. All I've done is scan and said yes. And that's it. I'm now signed in as Adele here on my hot desk. So I can see it's got the reserve item there as well. I can look at all my missed chats, etc. So I've got my full productivity. I've got my Teams client here. Everything ready for my day's work where I can do all my meetings. So a super simple, quick workflow now for Microsoft Teams display with hot desking with a QR code sign-in, available very, very soon. Another new feature in the upcoming build of this uh, Teams display is when I hit my picture now, sign out is actually on the front at the very bottom now. So if I want to finish a session, uh, I can do this early. So I can simply hit sign out at the bottom there and simply sign out. So a very quick way before it was hidden behind one step menu. So now Microsoft have listened and put it at the front there on that panel. So now ready for the next user. Just note that the QR code is only for the current meeting. So if I had booked the room from 11 to 12, I hit reserve for example now, I will not see a QR code for that. Um, I can see the sign in but that's a standard sign. So the QR code is only relevant for the current meeting. Now, just out of interest, if someone does book the hot desk room and doesn't show up, you can go and sign in. It's not tied to Adele because it's reserved for Adele. Anyone can sign in to there on that account. Any questions, let me know.